since it delocalizes into the benzene ring, it overlaps with the pi electron cloud over the benzene ring. So what happens is that this lone pair is not available to accept H plus ions because it has delocalized into the benzene ring. So since it is not available to accept H plus ions, it is less basic. So if I had to rank these three compounds in terms of basicity, then ethylamine would be the most basic. So ethylamine would be the most basic because of the positive inductive effect. It would be the most basic, followed by ammonia, which would be less basic because of the uh, because of the lack of the al alkyl group. It has an H atom instead of the alkyl group. Followed by uh, so this is ammonia. Let, I'm since I'm writing the names, I'll just stick to that and not write a formula. Uh, this will be ammonia. And I've given you the reason of why ammonia will be less basic than ethylamine. And this will be followed by phenylamine because phenylamine will be the least basic among these three because as you can see, the lone pair on the nitrogen atom in phenylamine overlaps with the benzene ring. It delocalizes into the benzene ring. So it is less available to accept H plus ions and therefore it is less basic because basicity uh, is, is determined by the ability of the atom to accept protons and if it's not able to accept protons it will not be so basic. So we have ranked them so this will be most basic to least basic and in, in terms of the pH scale also uh, so just just wait the most basic least basic because we know that the high, the the more the basicity the higher the pH uh, so this will have the highest pH this will have the lowest pH because the more basic a compound the 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 more, the more the pH and the less basic the compound the lower the pH so lowest pH and uh, in, in for acidity it goes the complete opposite way uh, the more acidic the compound the lower the pH the, the less acidic the uh, compound the higher the pH so it goes opposite so uh, yeah so in this case it will uh, uh, so the basicity and pH will be ranked like this and uh, I've given you the explanations so the explanations are here in writing as well. So you can just note all of these down. Uh, the same thing that we have done uh, till now. So you just need to write all of these uh, explanations down and you'll be good to go. So I'm moving to the next slide. You can pause the video and note this down. So formation of amines. So how do we really make these amines? So uh, there, are, there are certain ways in which this is done. So the first way is to use ammonia and a halogenoalkane. A halogenoalkane, as you can see, I've taken uh, chloroethane in this case, which is two carbon atoms attached to chlorine uh, and uh, two carbon atoms and uh, it has one chlorine atom. So this is chloroethane. And the condition is that we have to heat the reagents in a sealed container. Uh, remember to write this if you want the marks. And uh, so uh, this is chloroethane reacting with ammonia and the condition is heat, heat in a sealed container. And as a result, we get eth uh, ethylamine, which is um, uh, CS3, CH2, NH2. And we get HCl as a byproduct because the chlorine atom is replaced by, the, by an NH2 group. So the remaining H and Cl, they bond together to form HCl, which is hydrogen chloride. So this is a nucleophilic substitution mechanism, as you can see, because the chlorine atom is being substituted by the amine group, by the NH2 group. So uh, we will be doing, I will be doing nucleophilic substitution in the AS level chemistry series. Uh, so wait for it. Uh, but until then, that this is what you need to know. Now, the second way of doing it is reduction of nitriles. So the nitrile group is the CN group. CN group, it's called the nitrile group. Uh, it is basically, uh, 
if you if I, ex if I have to expand this group, it is C triple bond N. This is the nitrile group, and uh, if the reduction of nitriles results in the formation of